हेलो एवरीबॉडी लेट्स वेलकम टू यू चैनल एंड इन टूडेज वीडियो वील सॉल्व ए स्पॉज प्रॉब्लम जेड सम जस्ट एड इट एंड ओके लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द स्टेटमेंट एंड द स्टेटमेंट इज सेइंग दैट फॉर टू गिवन इंटीजर्स एन एंड के वी हैव टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस इक्वेशन व्हिच इज जेड एन प्लस जेड एन माइनस वन माइनस टू इंटू जेड एन माइनस टू मोड दिस वैल्यू विच इज टेन टू पावर सेवन प्लस सेवन फेयर जेड एन स्टैंड फॉर एस एन प्लस पी एन and sn is basically 1 to the power k plus 2 to the power k up to n to the power k and pn is 1 to the power 1 and 2 to the power 2 up to n power n and similarly you can also calculate z n plus 1 till sn minus 1 and it is start with 1 to the power k and end with n to the power n minus 1 to the power k and here n minus 1 to the power n minus 1 and similarly z n minus 2 okay and the input format is t test case which is which is basically we don't need to input the test case here and it is mentioned that test case will be less than or equal to 10 to the power 4 and each case will consist of two integers n and k and n and k can be zero and here are the constants n ranges from 1 to 2 into 10 to the power 8 and k ranges from 10 to the power 6 okay and we have to output output a single value in a separate line okay <coughs> and you can simply see the input here n is 10 and k is 3 and we have to use these values and put this in equation and then solve but if i try to just find the value of each term which is each term i will get definitely tle and if I use binary exponentiation and then use to solve this by finding the brute force approach using brute force approach and find the value of each term and then adding and multiplying whatever this will be my time complexity this will and you can see here we will definitely get TLE so this for avoiding the time limit accelerator just try to solve the equation so I have expanded this to save the to reduce the video time okay just expand this i will just use this values value of zn is this one okay i have expanded these equations and the zn stands for this this value is for zn zn minus 1 this is for zn minus 1 from here to here and this is for 2 into zn minus 2 okay and after solving this just simply add this value 1 to the power k 1 to the power k this will become 2 into this till n minus 2 and in the first value of zn we, we will remain with two terms n minus 1 and n and in zn minus 1 n minus 1 term will remain and all the term from 1 to n minus 2 will be get cancelled will get cancelled and it will remain with us only six term and after adding similar terms we will get this equation this result okay and we will just find the value of these four terms and then simply add them and apply the modulo to modulo here m is 10 to power 7 plus 7 to get the same result and our answer value will never exceed the value of m okay so hope you understand this let's see the solution here yeah i am starting with this uh, this is for no reason yeah i am just inputting till in infinite loop and starting with n and k inputting the values of n and k and calling my solve function sending the n and k as parameter and this will return and return and long long value and i am storing it in answer and checking if answer is is not zero then in this in this case i am just printing the answer otherwise i will terminate the program okay let's see the solve function here starting with checking if n or k is zero i am returning n and k which means both are zero i am returning just zero and my program will terminate Otherwise, I am calling my binary exponentiation function. 
this is my binary exponentiation function and if you are not familiar with this algorithm you can just watch the my video on binary exponentiation i will leave the link in the description okay you can see this is also simple okay i am just sending n minus 1 into k this is my final result which you see here this is my final result which i need to calculate the value whose value i need to calculate and i yeah. just starting with 2 into binary exponentiation of n minus 1 and k to the power k and calculating modulo and just adding the next term which is to uh, n minus 1 to the power n minus 1 which means n minus 1 to the power n minus 1 and sending a and b value here and after the value is written i am just applying modulo m and then after adding these two again applying modulo m so that my value will not exceed the modulo value here the modulo value is also 10 to the power 7 yeah and again multiplying it with 2 and then also performing modulo with m again my answer to is binary exponentiation, exponentiation calling n and k sending as parameter and then applying modulo with m and again sending n and n which means this last value and applying modulo m and then adding and applying modulo m and final answer will be the summation of these two values summation of these two values and returning the final answer here and just checking if it is not zero i will print otherwise i will terminate my program okay hope you guys understand this and if you find this video awesome please subscribe and and like to this channel so thanks for watching see you in next video